Right, we're done here. This field is complete. He's a smashing wee boy. Unbelievable, it was 18 degrees yesterday. So the half box of lamb, which you can see now. Got a wee party of cows for me this morning. Morning, Holly. Here we are, we can. What a bee. That's all already done. Just got a lorry arrived for some oats. Look at the dog. You can see a tail wagging over the top there at the feet. Thought she saw a mouse and the way she went. Same up. So there'll be one more load sitting here once we finish this load. See it kicking over the top there, so he's just gonna shift forward and I'll get the back filled. Just about finished with the oats, and then all that's left is a bit of malted barley and a decent bit of wheat there. Getting there, stealing my dog lorry from Brechin. <laughs> I'm surprised I didn't spill that, there's none on the ground, but close one. He takes a full load anyway. <laughs> You'll need a big old touch on the brakes. There he goes. See it disappear on the top there. There we go, passport. So it's oats, it's firth. It's loading day, harvest day, circle A because it's got no post-harvest treatment on it, so it's not got a seed treatment and things like that. And there you go, signed by me and position grower. Position, when I was young, I didn't really know what it meant. Uh, I just put it in the box. The position changes because if this was to go and get a seed treatment and be re-sown, um, it would go and get treated um, by, let's say, dog seed that we use quite a lot they would then fill in their own passport and their position would be, what would their position be actually? Uh, merchant, grain merchant, something like that. But they wouldn't be a grower. He's just checking his nuts. He got a new wheel yesterday, so he's just making sure all his lug nuts are tight. Have a guess what that lorry is. Green nurseries, plants. It's chock-a-block with lorries. Green lorry's stuck, bin lorry's in, and <laughs> he's in the way. Coming along, looking good. Just this wee section to do. Coo's all squared up. I just need to roll out these bales of bedding, and then we're done here. This wee fella, born last night, getting on absolutely fantastic. Need to go and tag him and do his knackers. But he was up, soaking, no bother. He's a smashing wee boy. You see him there, he's a good size. Compare him there to one of the twins that was born four or five days ago now. Big size difference. Hey wee man, look at the twins go. Got one on one side, one on the other. Soaking away. That's what you like to see. Heading out to this field to roll. Not with a discovery, obviously, but you can see we've not got much silage left. That's why we put 10 cows out, and in a week's time, we'll hopefully get some more out. Don't produce as much or as good quality milk if they're on ammonia straw. So ideally, either keep them on silage or put them straight to grass, so. That's why we've done that. Anyway, feel the wheat here. Looks quite nice. You can see where the sheep had escaped footprints all over the field but considering I mean, this is an end rig it's still looking pretty nice it's actually looking very nice this crop so far so good there's no weeds coming in between the rows or in between the crop or anything like that at all really clean and then just pull it out there so I've not got a trail or anything but decent roots on it I can't really tell the roots on it too much because I've not got a trail to dig them out but decent root system on it there Quite a lot of tillers off of that. A few leaves that are kind of goose down the bottom there, but you always get that, but there's quite a lot, quite a lot of tillers there. So we're quite happy with that crop of wheat so far. Long may it continue. I'm just gonna swap with dad there. He's gonna go back to the yard. I'm gonna jump in the rollers. This is yard two, Duncan Kev, and now moved to home. They're sowing at home, so all the other yards are done. Two, three, and four, Every, all the sowing's done. Everything's in the ground now. There's obviously something on those oats that's gone wrong. See a strip where it's just a bit yellow or through the middle. I don't know whether the furniture pitter had issues up that up that row. Hmm. Not too sure. 
just the yellow the yellowness of it indicates it's needing a bit of juice a bit of substance in the soil to soak up so I don't know whether it's not got fertilizer I'm not too sure about that one right we're done here this field is complete um, so heading along the road now to yard number oh what am I going to uh, number three can't see much red there's a wee transport bar you put on you don't actually really need it because these clips hold it on but it's probably for safety measures you're meant to have it on but I put it on safety but yeah there's not much red left to see is there don't use the paddles that often to be honest thought we would use them more than we have right she's packed up there rows are here I've actually realized I forgot to do a field up there that one right there let me zoom you in that one right there below the steading I forgot to do that it's called Coo Park anyway it'll get done eventually but I need to shift this forklift right we'll get this whipper snapper home but that's the top speed uh, in yellow writing on the inside is miles an hour so let's crank her up will she get to 20 almost 18 miles an hour not the quickest machine I guess from A to B wasn't expecting that snow well hail kind of stuff it's hail we pause I get questions all the time about when the vents arrive and when the vents arrive and end of April, start of May, hopefully it's going to arrive then, that's that's what we've been told, so we can only go by that. I've also asked Rory Arikis if there's any chance he can get some pictures from it on the production line, so you'll get a wee picture of it now if he's managed to get it. If not, sorry, tried. It's quite lethal that, big nail stones. Unbelievable, it was 18 degrees yesterday. Scotland for you. I've not properly looked into it, but let me know if there's demand for a meat box, like a posted meat box. Right, morning, I'm just rolling. This isn't a normal video. I'm actually just going to talk to you a bit about lamb packs we're doing. So the half box of lamb, which you can see now. So these are all the bits that are in it. We've still have to figure out a beef box. We'll get that sorted soon, but in the lamb box, for £115, what you're going to get is one full leg of lamb, eight single chops or a rack of lamb, so you get to choose between those two, two double loin chops, it's not two, it's five chops, or a cannon, so you get to choose between those two as well, two bits of rolled shoulder, which are about two kilo, one neck fillet, good on the barbecue that, then you can have 1.5 kilo of mince, or you can have it as a lamb and mint burger instead, so that you get an option there. One rolled chump mini roast, one shank, one kidney, and that's what's in your box. I've also managed to get everyone watching here a deal, so if you want to order the box, put into the discount code Crawford's Farm, all in capitals, and then you'll wind up with a kilo of porridge. Our own oats that we harvested, if you go back about nine months ago in the video, you'll see them being harvested. It'd be really cool to see some orders via you guys watching YouTube. So if you fancy trying the lamb box and you're in the mainland UK, Go to the link down there to the website, it'll take you to the lamb box. Remember and use the code Crawford's Farm and that'll get you your porridge for your morning breakfast. Also, by the way, first orders won't arrive till Wednesday the 13th. We've been quite busy uh, with lamb orders in the butchery recently, so we've not got enough for this week. So fresh lamb for next week. There you go, question of the day. What make of car is that? I can leave. I'm working and I'm weak Will you dare to